friends. Happy Tuesday, October 17th. <clears throat> I am sitting here working on Layla's Christmas cardigan. Um, it is called the Mini Granny Pop Cardigan by MJ Hook Designs. Um, I'll have the um, tutorial and where you can get the pattern if you want to try this <clears throat> in the description. Um, box but I finished my second sleeve sorry I had to clear my throat you didn't need to hear it <laughs> so um, the first sleeve and this is a self striping yarn and the first sleeve ended with the purple and when I did the second sleeve right here then it continued on and then it ended in the blue and the last bit had that little bit of stripe right here of the dark blue. So now I am doing the band that goes, um, the band in the collar. So that right where you would have your buttons if you were going to have buttons, but I'm not going to have buttons. So I am just starting the join as you go. So I have to do um, both sides, the left and the right, and around the collar. Then it will be done. And I am doing this, for anybody that is new, I'm doing this in um, the Premier Anti-Pilling DK. 383 yards or 350 meters. This is wash and dryable. Colorway is Wisteria. And it is um, a light three. And um, I am, and that is the color right there. This one I started on the outside because that sleeve was in blue. And when I ran out, it would have started in the purple. So I just wanted to carry the color of the blue through. And now I'm just going to work. So the band will go from, from this dark purple to a lighter to the lavender. And if we get to any blue, then it'll be the blue. So, but anyways, and I'm using my smaller hook. It's caught on the cardigan. My um, furls hook right here. And the G size, 4.0 um, millimeters. So, um... Yep, I've been working on this since probably 7.30 this morning. Um, went to sleep about midnight last night and slept hard until 5.30. Woke up, could not go back to sleep. So I laid in bed for an hour. Finally got up at 6.30 and Mr. Jerry got up, got up about 7.30 and then I made some coffee and then... Um, He's been gone ever since. He had a breakfast um, get-together with um, an old friend. And then the camp that he works at part-time, um, they had a problem. And now he's been over there So ever since. And it's 1 o'clock. So um, i just been working on this today. haven't felt like doing much. Yesterday we were gone to our daughter's and son-in-law's house with our grandson and we were there along well we were there from 11 until like five o'clock and after being in the car an hour two two and a half hours my body today was really is really sore and achy <laughs> so um, but anyways, I wanted to come on and show you right where I am on this, and um, I'm going to continue to work on this. This will take me a while. I was hoping to get this done today. This isn't going to get done today because the join as you go is um, you're working back and forth on just this um, eight stitches. So I am single crocheting into that V stitch till you come down here and then um, I slip two stitches and then skip them and then work the way back up so 
it's just back and forth as you're joining it. That's why it's called join as you go. But it does take a while. But anyways, I will let you go um, five minutes in and um, probably will not have any lunch today. It is weigh-in Tuesday. Um, my weigh-ins are at 5.30 at night. So um, you will saw my breakfast. And um, then I will show you what I'll have for supper tonight after my Weight, my weight Watcher meeting. And then I'll come on and tell you how I did if I was up or down and discuss the weekly topic. So anyways, I'm going to let you go, friends, and um, I will see you tonight then. Tuesday. Um, I am back from my Weight Watcher meeting. I did not stay. Um, I'm tired today. <laughs> I did not stay. Um, did not sleep well last night and um, probably all the junk that I put in my body and stuff, but um, I was just tired and Mr. Jerry's out in the kitchen. If you hear noises, he's making us supper and it will be pork chops with potatoes and a vegetable. So, but um, I just wanted to let you know how I did on my, um, on my week last week. Um, I really felt I did really well until um, our grandson came up. Um, we haven't seen our grandson. I need to digress a little bit. Um, we have an um, older grandson that lives seven hours south of us, and um, he's 16, and he's in um, football, he's in baseball, he's in basketball, he, you know, he's got his teenage years, um, he's a sophomore, and so um, he's busy down there with his mom, and um, so that means we don't get to see him as much, and our son and his family don't get to see him like they should. Um, but anyways, he is up this week. They have down there a fall break. And so, um, he came up and they surprised us. Um, it was supposed to be a surprise, but the surprise got spoiled. But anyways, we saw him Saturday and, um, I had tracked everything and I had prepared for Saturday. Um, we had pizza that day and, um, I had three slices of pizza with some chips and um, it was a medium size and I had the points and I used the little extra weeklies. And then um, Sunday, um, I did good on that too. Then yesterday, um, we had him for the day and we went up to our daughter and son-in-law's, son-in-law's um, um, place to, um, so that Mr. Jerry could um, do some trim work in their basement. Um, they had their basement redone a couple years ago and they just need someone to do the trim work for them. So um, we took our grandson with us and she got to see him because she hasn't seen him that long, as long as us. Um, so we spent the day up there and um, of course our daughter, <laughs> she just snacks all day and by snacks it's treats and sweets and stuff like that. Um, so, um, and our grandson is hungry. And so, um, we did a McDonald's and I chose a, um, kids, um, happy meal, um, the chicken tenders with the small fries. And, um, and then we got home so late last night. We both were so tired after being basically almost two and a half hours in a car round trip and everything. And... Mr. Jerry just wanted fries and the cheese curds from Culver's. I'm not going to lie, that would have been my choice too, but I picked the um, pot roast sandwich 
which was 13 points, and I did have fries, and I took, I think it was like seven points for that. So it put me, it finished my week at negative eight. So in my mind, I knew there was going to be a gain because of all the sodium and stuff. And today I got up and I had my smoothie and um, my coffee, and uh, I had um, some drinks in the morning. Um, I'm just all over the place because I'm tired. Um, drinks like, you know, um, diet teas like that. And then um, I figured about 1 o'clock because I weigh in at 5.30, then I just won't eat the rest of the day or drink anything. And so um, about 3 o'clock, 3.30, my stomach started rumbling and stuff so I went and I thought okay you need to eat something you know you know you're going to be up anyways you might as well eat something well I went to the refrigerator and um Mr. Jerry had bought um some Dan and um two-point yogurt and it was um pumpkin because I love pumpkin pie and it was punk pumpkin pie and it is like a limited edition thing, so if you can find that and you like pumpkin, pumpkin pie, it would be really good. Um, if I was to do it again, I would crumble up graham crackers on it on, in a bowl, and then I would put the um, yogurt in it, and then I would put a dollop of Cool Whip, so it would just remind me of a pumpkin pie. So... Um, I say all that to say I'm going to post right here how I did. You could have knocked me over with a feather. I was just flabbergasted. I could not believe it. And did you see? I hit 35 pounds. I hit 35 pounds. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I am so tickled pink with that. And you know... I can sit there and say, oh, you got luck of the draw or whatever. Well, that's fine. <laughs> but that doesn't mean that that I need to sit there and go, phew, I, you know, you know, got by that. Um, because I'm still going to stay on track. Because my next goal is at five pounds for that 40 pounds. And I, you know, I can easily sit there and say 15 pounds and I'm going to hit 50. But if I look at it as five pound increments, so I am my next goal is going to be five pounds and I'm not going to set a time limit for myself because I always stress about it. So my next goal is going to be five pounds. But yes, I lost um, a one pound and I am super thankful and super glad on that. So anyways, I'm going to get to the um, meeting topic. It's um, how to build, and I'm looking down at my iPad, how to build meals that keep you strong and energized. Don't we all need that? I know I do. So um, it says lifting weights isn't the only way to focus on strength. What you eat plays a role too. Two, map out your meals ahead to make sure you get the right mix of nutrients. And they say to try this. Now, I don't ever map out my meals. I'm retired and I, I not even for supper, we don't map it out. We kind of have a general idea that we know we want maybe pork chops one night, maybe scalp potatoes and ham, you know, because it's getting that time of year. You know, we kind of have that, but I'm not, I'm not one that says... You know, well, I have smoothies every day, but my lunch is different and my supper is different. But they say try this. Um, decide when and where you'll eat and how many points you'll use. Hmm. Then start with a protein base. For each meal, choose a zero point or low point food like this. So they say, you know, like chicken or turkey breast because it has 24 grams of protein. Um, per three ounces or a pork tenderloin pork tenderloin that's only two points for three ounces um, your non-fat Greek yogurt um, that's got you know it's high in protein and calcium um, they said um, salmon or other oily fish that's not me but if that's you go for it you, you you do you but that's not me the only fish I get is my tuna fish in a packet 
um, that has your vitamin D to help um, with calcium absor absorption. And then it says once you do that and you choose your protein, because it's a known fact that if you eat more protein, you stay um, fuller longer. So anyways, I do. It says then add fruits and veggies um, or some type of grain to the um, protein. Um, try to work in the produce that delivers extra calcium like kale or broccoli. Um, I don't care for kale. I've tried it. Um, broccoli, I can eat it um, raw. Mr. Jerry likes broccoli if it's smothered with cheese. And I could put some cheese on it. Not smother it, but I could put cheese on it. But I, yeah, I, I love broccoli too. And it says, and then think about what sauces or dressings you'll use and how you'll prepare your meal. And it says, let's dive a little deeper. One not so fun fact about weight loss, along with um, fat, most fat, they're meaning like the fat and food and stuff. Um, most people lose some lean mass. Um, well, I guess they're not. Take that back. Along with fat, most people lose some lean mass, too. And that's one of my things that I'm concerned about the older I get. Because when you lose your weight and you're going down, you're losing the fat. But you also will lose some lean mass. It says, example, everything in your body that isn't fat, including muscle and bone. It's normal, but losing too much could increase risk of injury. It could um, make you tired. It can um, make your, met your metabolic rate slow down over time. And that's where the protein and the calcium and vitamin D come in. All three help protect lean mass. So when we sit there and say, you know, like we got protein in my um, pork chops for tonight, um, I could have, I'm sure he'll do corn, but if we had green beans, because it seems like those are our two things, but you know, um, I could sit there and say in my smoothie, I am adding in that cup of um, baby spinach, and that's got lots of vitamin D in it, so I'm incorporating more of that. Um, and it says protein, research shows higher protein intake helps preserve muscle and promote more fat loss on a weight loss journey. Protein also contributes to bone health. Hmm. Eating more protein helps you to lose more and contributes to bone health. Calcium and vitamin D on its own, calcium is known for maintaining and fortifying bones, but it works even harder when paired with vitamin D, which helps the body better absorb and hold on to calcium. Foods like sardines, milk, cheese, and certain cereals contain both. So it goes back to that reading your nutritional facts and everything. Does this mean you can forget about all the other nutrients or that you need to stock up on protein shakes and supplements? No. It says just be mindful to um, incorporate the above trio t together into your meals. Add meat and dairy, and excuse me, not add, and meat and dairy aren't the only foods that can make that happen. Others like tofu, lentils, grains, and some produce also contain protein, calcium, or vitamin D. And then it ends with three fast facts. Eating food rich in protein, calcium, and vitamin D can help maintain muscle and bone strength while losing weight. Protein helps you stay fuller longer, which can support weight loss. And planning meals allows you to make more intentional choices and ensure you get the nutrients needed to keep your body strong. So that is the Weight Watcher meeting notes. Um, the recipe was the pumpkin oats cookies. And if you have the Weight Watcher app, I'm sure that if you put in there pumpkin oat cookies, it's going to pop it up. But it makes um, 20, no, it makes, yeah, 24, and they're one point. Um, and it's going to be backwards because I have my camera the wrong way. But I will um, screenshot so that you can at least, you know, stop your video if you want to and screenshot it yourself. 
But anyways, how did you do? How was your journey going? Um, I was, I almost didn't go. It, the old Terry came out and just did not want to face the scales because, you know, I just felt like I, I did awful. And why is that? But I am trying to incorporate more, more protein, um, the veggies and all that stuff. But I am your, um, I'm the chip girl. I love the saltiness. Um, and I'm not as much as a sweet eater as I am more of the crunch factor of like chips and stuff like that. But anyways, I'm going to let you go. Um, supper's going to be about ready. Oh, while I have you here. I did finish that hat the other night for our grandson. So that was that mosaic right there. I'm not going to put a pom-pom on it. When I said the brim folds up, it folds away up. So anyways, one down, and I have one, two, three more of these to make in different colors. This is his school colors. I'm going to make his dad, um, this is for um, our youngest grandson, his dad a matching one, and then our eldest grandson, He'll get one that is black and white because that's their school colors. And if I have time, I'll do a black and white one for his dad so that they each have have one. My first thought was I could do half of it orange and black and the other half white and black. So he's got both grandsons in one. So, but we'll see. But anyways, thanks again, my friends, and welcome to um, all my new friends who have just joined me. Um, I appreciate each and every one of you. I appreciate you saying good morning to me and the comments. Um, I just wanted to hop on here and just say um, thank you and um, say, you know, for me is a brand new week. I get 28 weekly points as far as I know. I haven't, you know, as of today because... You know, that was before my weight thing. But I usually get 28 daily points, and I get 28 extra weekly points. So, um, yeah. Keep going, my friends. Stay strong. Um, we all get on those struggle buses, and we all, once you get that taste of whatever, it just seems like it's hard to get back out of that pit. So... But I believe in you, and um, let's just keep going, and let's just keep shooting at our um, our goals, and we're going to slowly chip away at them at a time. Um, if you're struggling, you know, you got this. You got this. If it's struggling and tracking, then just track one thing, just one thing. If it is um, getting back to eating healthy, choose one healthy thing at your meal maybe this week you're going to say i'm going to get more protein in or maybe i'm going to get more water in or maybe i'm going to get more vegetables in or maybe i'm just going to be kind to myself and forgive myself and know that i am human and that i got this and i can do it so until um supper time when you'll see what I'm having as I've already told you. I'll see you then my friends. Thanks for listening.